Hey sports bettors, welcome to the channel. It is Thursday, April 18th. My name is Boyd. I teach beginner and struggling sports bettors how to build and how to make a sustainable income using sports betting. Use uh, positive expected value bets, use betting tools, use the education and the insights of the market, and put together a plan uh, for every individual and every customer, client, person that we want to work with and help you scale that goal if that's your goal. So that's what the channel is all about, is showing you the tools, showing you some heuristics, showing you some methods, some tips, and really just kind of giving you a snapshot into how you can do this on your own and uh, be very profitable. Also, too, guys, by joining this channel, you're going to find that my, my whole mission here is to help you become a better sports better, help you get the education that you need. I think a lot of sports betters, especially when they're getting started or struggling, don't know what you don't know. So, so think about that. You really don't have a clue you know, about a lot of things. And uh, I've been doing this for many, many years. And I can tell you there's a lot of different ways to skin the cat. And I think the methods and the tips here are going to be something you can take each day as far as a learning opportunity, some education, some information, adapt that to yourself. But if you really want to expedite your goals and really expedite your, uh, you know, your journey, I highly recommend you stop over to the to the website, boyddavis.com. We have fundamentals, basics. We do a one-on-one -on -one phone call, uh, conference call to help you establish where you're at, what your abilities are, uh, what we can do to provide a profit plan and really provide you the tools, the betting tools, the data-driven information. It's going to help you execute and do that. So please think about that if you're in that situation. So going forward, my best piece of advice is to get educated, get the tools. If you don't have the tools, you really need the data-driven insights that, that help you find and identify these opportunities. And that's by using OddsJam. OddsJam is a data-driven uh, betting tool that helps you find outlier pricing and make positive expected value bets so you can profit a lot faster, a lot easier. And uh, it really is the tool you have to have to succeed. So if you get signed up, uh, use BOYD20, B-O-Y-D-2-0. It's going to save you 20% off your first two months if you're a new user in any of the packages. So that's that's kind of step one, guys, really, is to take that. And if you want to get further education expedited, let me know as well. So let's get into the picks and some of the high risks for today. All right, guys, here we go. Positive VV page. And the positive VV page is kind of the first stop I do a daily morning. First thing I'll do is hit the positive VV page just because it's going to show you on the left-hand side the percent edge, the market edge and pricing. So this is very, very uh, critical, very important. You can put this all together in your settings and your filters. And, and you know, you can say, hey, I want anything above 2%. Um, you, you, you know, you can say on the market width, I want anything above or I'm sorry, below, say, 30. Uh, market width is sort of a confidence level in, in the markets. And so uh, I try to have a, as low as possible number on this side to coincide with the highest possible EV edge. And then if it's a player prop bet or a or an alternative line, certainly I'll go a little bit higher on the market width, but like a mainline bet, like a, a money line, a, a total full game total uh, or a run line or a point spread, you know, <clears throat> 20 or, or under is kind of what I'm targeting, 15, things like that. So this this fits in well. This 27 is a, is a very, very doable market width for this player prop Logan Webb under two and a half player earned runs. Um, so <clears throat> first thing is no VIG. So the VIG imagine you hear the number of VIG or hear the, the term VIG, it's basically the commission or the fee charged over and above a wholesale price. So if a computer was $110.11, you'd be paying $11.50 here at, at Caesar. So it's a tiny bit above the VIG. They're making a small a small amount over and above that. The, the, the VIG here, plus 116, you're actually getting this for a better price than, than the wholesale cost. OK, so just just understand that VIG is the percent of commission or the, the amount of commission over and above. And so, so some some sports books will charge, you know, 25, 30, 45 cents in VIG. So they're they're charging you a lot more. And you're getting the same thing. You're getting the same bet. So you want to have as much, you know, uh, at the best price as possible. So you're paying the least and still getting the most. So that's that's essentially how that works. Now, we don't have Pinnacle in the U.S. That's out. Um, this, this, this bet 365, I'm not a big fan of this, uh, total runs odd or even what the fuck are we, are we going to toss a coin? I'm not really big into that particular market. So I'm going to pass. I'll look at this player earn runs. So we have Logan Webb under two and a half and we have a small slate of, of, uh, MLB games today, but right out of the gate, you can see Caesars at minus 184. Holy crow. Bet online minus 160. Holy crow. Definitely want to go with them and pinnacle at minus 151. I'm going to check the direction of the market. So, yeah, we have some pricing pushing down that way. That's very supportive of what we want to do. They started in the 140s. They're down to the 160s. So this minus 130 is an outlier. You know, one more thing I might do is check a couple of the uh, other statistical uh, websites that I use. If you want to know those websites, just message me down below and I'll get those to you. I was, I'm thinking about going ahead and creating a, an extra uh, document that has like my top 10 uh, stat 
you know, stat uh, sites that I use to, to cross check all the data uh, that the markets are providing me at Odds Jam. I think it's a good tool if you guys wanted to have that. I'd be happy to share that with you. So, uh, again, I'm going to check the stats real quick uh, and see if this minus 130 is a bet we want to go with. It is an outlier, so I do like that quite a bit. I also like taking unders at DraftKings, but I'm getting a better price at 365. So this Logan uh, Webb under two and a half earned runs is definitely going to be a play. Now, I might lower the bet amount a tiny bit just because um, the market edge is not as, as, as large as I'd like to do it. Um, but, but this, this, you know, price and odds in the bet tracker is something I'll go ahead and put in. And I think just for the time being, throw 50 bucks at it, keep in the bet tracker and, uh, go to the next one because this is a, a positive EV bet. And that's what we're doing. We're showing you how to identify, how to find why you would make a move on this and, uh, do this over and over again. And as many times as you possibly can throughout the day. All right. So we're going to move on to, uh, the, low hold page and the low hold page <clears throat> is another tool another one of the the, the spots that i hunt for bets uh, on odds jam and you know your first stop is you say hey boy it's zero percent zero percent what's going on that's that's not good well this this tool does the things that are a little different than, than how you hunt and how you scale for bets and let me explain if you were right at a dead nuts zero percent edge here basically what would happen is the pricing would be one 155 and minus 155 it'd be minus 121 and plus 121. It'd be minus 275, plus 275. But you have a tiny bit of a difference there in the numbers, hence the different edge. But what's really critical and what's really cool about this is I like to use and, and find uh, odds-making, market-making sports books against public sports books and then compare the pricing. Because typically, we're going to find some positive unique bets in this same area. So uh, this is a game for Saturday. This is the Nuggets-Lakers player made threes with Jokic under one and a half and uh you know DraftKings is at a minus one and a half whereas the bet online folks are minus 162 and pinnacle minus 213 holy shit what do they know what is going on i don't like to get above the minus 150 as far as paying for this particular market i'm really not big into the player made threes but this is kind of a situation where i'm getting the best price at minus 155 the average odds even though the average is a little bit kind of a, a skewed number only because you know you have such diversity in this in this number uh, even Fliff at minus 180, usually they are way off the charts, charging way too much, way, but holy crow, something is going on. So it's definitely worth a play, definitely worth a look, only because of Pinnacle and Bet Online, you know, even higher. So this is something that I'll, you know, want to enter and, uh, you know, hold and put some, you know, put a, put an amount here at DraftKings to, to, to have that for Saturday. So that's why I use the low hold page. Now, I use it to hunt for things that are, you know, minus 120, plus 120. Uh, minus 130 plus 130. I won't, I don't want to get into the the high numbers, the seven seven twenty six, the seven hundred, you know, the the two seventy fives, things like that. So the the one fifty five is at one fifty about as high as I'll go. So I'm going to open up this Embiid under uh, four and a half assists. And again, I really like to use the market making sports book. Although on a player prop, I prefer to use Bet Online. But I can see here Bet Online's even got a, a juicier price here at the minus one forty eight. Um, so that's interesting, right? Because uh, we're going to open their, their pricing up to see they're kind of bouncing back and forth. They haven't really found their equilibrium yet. Um, we're going to take a look at Pinnacle. Let's see what they're doing. They're at minus 121. Now, they've gone the other direction. So they went from minus 151, as you can see here at this point, that was eight hours ago. So that was about midnight last night. And they've gone down. So somebody somebody late, somebody big, somebody pushing some money, pushed this thing about 25, 26 cents that direction. Okay. So they, they are seemingly, because the money flow coming in this way, are trying to get money on the other side to fill this gap. So they're trying to get money over here, enticing people at a minus 110. So that's what that indicates. Now, you could you could get on this other side of the bet, best price plus 120. Again, if, if this is the side of the bet that seemingly is the correct side, your best price to go is over here at plus 120. So that, that's how you use this low hold page is to see what the, the, the sharps are doing, see what the, not the sharps, but see what the, the market makers are doing, and then find where, you know, they're going and where they're not going to help you identify where you want to go. <laughs> so that's how you use the low hold page. It's a little different strategy and not quite so cut and dried like the positive EV page where it's like market width, uh, you know, uh, positive EV edge, boom, make a play, let's go. So this is a little bit more, um, you know, intuitive as far, or not, not as intuitive, but how, how you can assess your own strategy. So let's take a look at another one here, minus 120 plus 117, kind of falls within my niche. 
Um, it's, it's a, it's a point spread bet. So it's a mainline bet. So that, that tells me that I'm probably going to lean more towards Pinnacle just because I like them more for mainline bets and certainly, uh, Circa, uh, we don't get a lot of data from Circa, but I, I do think they're a very good, uh, mainline bet, uh, true north. So we're going to open this up and see, yep, pricing and, and everything is pushing for the minus 125 down to that minus 133. Um, not an enormous push, but definitely going that direction. So if I can come over here and find this minus 120, yeah, uh, it's funny. They've already bumped it up. So they're already, they're, this is already telling me, this is an indicator because they were at 120. And they've had a pricing change already to minus 125. So the play here is the Knicks minus one and a half, uh, minus 125, just because, you know, they've already had a price change here. This, this pricing is going that direction. So this is probably only going to get worse. You're probably only going to get minus two, minus two and a half at minus 110, or you're probably just going to get a minus 125, minus 130 at this one and a half. So, uh, this is a bet that I would go ahead and move on and take uh, them over at MGM, Knicks minus one and a half over at MGM. Again, this is not till Saturday. But again, can't really help when this data pops up. You sort of take it as it goes. So that's what we're looking at there. Uh, and again, I, I can give you one, two, three, four bets, but you can see here there's a lot going on. A lot of this is Saturday for, for the NBA. You have a small slate of, of uh, MLB games today, so we have some player strikeouts here. Uh, take a look at the player strikeouts just to show you how that would work. And again, uh, leave me any info down below as far as uh, if you would like to know that my top 10 websites that I use for MLB research I, I, I like to have some extra light shined upon some of this uh, market data, and I can support that with um, other statistical pro, uh, you know, projections, and I have several sites that I really, really like. Uh, again, if these guys are at minus 184, I can go get it at minus 145. If these guys are at minus 183. This is a, this is a play. <laughs> you know, I would get on uh, Ryan uh, going up against the Angels today uh, here shortly. I'm going to actually pause this and go jump on this bet right now under six and a half Ks. All right, one of the last stops you can also make uh, and keep this up all day is the odd screen at Odds Jam. This is the MLB odd uh, screen. You have all the sports uh, here. You can do the, uh, the drop down there. All the markets are right here. You can look at player props. You can for, look at alternative lines, derivatives, things like that. They're all here. Every market is available in this spot. Uh, this is sort of a default set to the uh, main line. And on the uh, the main markets here, you'll see the run line. So the run line in MLB is sort of like the point spread. So in this case, you'd have Detroit uh, minus one and a half runs, plus 185. Um, you have the total, the over under at eight and a half, minus 107. What I like about this is you can you can pull this up and check, take a look at the history over on the right hand side and sort of see the charts of how <clears throat> the markets moved relative to the pricing. And so you can see here when the prices have moved, what's going on, and maybe why they've moved. Maybe it's an injury situation. Uh, it shows you here also the, um, the the real time. So 11 seconds ago, this was over 9 at plus 104. So then there's been no movement there, but this will be color-coded. If it's red, <clears throat> you get a pricing change one direction. If it's green, the pricing change is going the other direction. So it tells you the direction of which way the, the pricing is going on a particular game. And then, therefore, you can determine if you need to get in right away or if you may want to wait um, or you can identify what's causing the price change. You know, is, is, is it sharp action with the, uh, uh, the, the limits changing and increasing late in the morning? So here another hour or two as limits go up. You know, we're seeing some pricing changes maybe here in Denver, uh, uh, you know, 8.30, 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. You got some pricing changes because you had limit changes, but not necessarily any in injury information that could have affected things. Maybe lineup changes, whatever the case. So you, you can check the timing of this, um, on the odd screen, which is a really cool tool. I have this up 24 seven seemingly and I'm constantly watching the markets. You know, if you want to jump in, just say money line alone, you can, uh, that's certainly, you know, if you just are doing maybe first five innings, maybe the first half money lines, you can, you, you know, you certainly can open up any of these markets. This is yesterday's, uh, in info. And what I like to use about this is you can go back and sort of check, you know, who had best odds, kind of what was going on, and, and use this as research, you know, use this to go and do some background information on kind of what the lines were doing and learn from this, you know, use this odd screen historically, you can see the date yesterday, but, you know, go back and say, hey, you know, what was going on in the market? Why, why was the pricing here? And, and try to advance your, your education with the markets uh, and, and use this as a tool as much as it is, you know, to, to, to find bets for today. You can, you can find out, you know, maybe what you can do to be better today and even better tomorrow. All right, guys, going to wrap this up for today, but I want to remind you, if you uh, got some value out of this, got some information that maybe you can adapt to your betting uh, betting style, let me know down below. Give me some insights and kind of how things are, are looking for you with the information you're taking from the channel. Obviously, we hope that you uh, like and join the channel so we can further you know, learn what people need as far as content to help them profit better and easier, faster, 
and all of that. So appreciate you stopping by. Let's go make some mathematical money.